Hello, and welcome to the EEC Background Record Check Training Series on Program Portal for Agency Affiliates. In this video, we will cover how to log in and an overview of Program Portal. On September 30th, you should receive an email from the EEC Background Check Unit with a link to Program Portal. If you do not, please call the EEC Contact Center at 617-988-7841. When you access Program Portal for the first time, click Forgot Your Password to set up a password. You will be asked to enter your email, which should be the same email you used for BRC Manager. Click Send Verification Code. Then log into your email account. You should have received an email from Microsoft on behalf of mass.gov EEC BRC portal. Copy and paste the code from the email, being careful not to include any spaces before or after the code. After you put in the code, make sure to click verify code before pressing continue. Once you've verified your account, click continue. Now, create your new password. Click confirm and continue. When you log into Program Portal going forward, you will simply need to enter the email address and password associated with your Program Portal account. Each time you log in, you will be asked to verify your account for security purposes. After authentication, the browser tab used to log in will refresh and you will land on the BRC Program Portal All Staff tab. The toolbar on the left-hand side of the page will have five icons. The dashboard icon, which looks like a gauge, the submission index icon, which looks like a bulleted list, the new submission icon, which looks like an ID card, the release notes icon, which looks like a note, and the icon to access the BRC support tool, which has an exclamation point. Let's start with the submission index icon. This will be the landing page after signing in, but you can also access it by pressing the submission index icon on the bar on the left-hand side of the portal. The submission index has three tabs. The applicants tab is used to track any new BRCs that are submitted. The all staff tab is used to track active staff members in one of the hired employment statuses. The inactive tab is used to track staff members and applicants that are no longer active. Each of these pages has columns that are sortable. You can filter the listing pages based on the criteria within the filter panel, which you can access by pressing the button by the search bar. Filters can be used to narrow a search. After you select the fields you would like to filter by, Press the search button at the bottom. This will apply the search parameters to all pages within the BRC Navigator program portal. Remember to reset all filters after you are done using a filter. You can download the content of these pages by clicking the Download Applications button, which will export the information as a CSV file, which can be opened in Excel. This file will contain 15 data points separated out into columns. Some of these columns are not shown on the listing page, so this additional information may be useful when viewing the roster. When you search the roster, there are 11 filters. First name, last name, middle name, role, date of birth, alias, maiden name, BRC ID, program name, licensee ID, and licensee name. When you complete a search, you must backspace all entered text and press the magnifying glass or press enter. One thing you'll notice on each of the individuals on this roster is the action box. This box shows all the actions that can be taken with a candidate. For applicants, 
This is where you can change their employment status to hired or not hired once their BRC results are returned. Hiring an applicant moves them to the all staff tab, whereas not hired moves them to the inactive tab. For staff, this is where you can change their employment status or request a resubmission. We recommend keeping these applicants, all staff, and inactive tabs up to date. For example, if one of your staff members goes on maternity leave or is away for a semester of college, you should move them to the inactive tab. When the individual is back from maternity leave or college, for instance, they should be moved back to the all staff tab. Now, let's move on to the dashboard tab. At the top, you'll see different indicators. These indicators will change color and number to indicate the number of BRCs in each step of the process. The dashboard tab will also show separate cues on the sidebar. Selecting a cue from the dashboard essentially applies a preset filter to all listing pages. Always remember to reset all filters within the filter icon when done. This is the new submission page. This page is where you will search for a background record check candidate. If the individual does not exist in the system, this is also the page you will use to begin creating a new candidate. Now, we'll move on to the release notes page. This page will contain notes whenever any updates are made to Program Portal. These can include bug fixes and enhancements that add in new features, so be sure to stay in the loop by checking the release notes page. Clicking the last icon on the left-hand menu will take you to the BRC Support Tool page. This is a great place to start if you're having any trouble with Program Portal. This page will allow you to submit a ticket with any issues and you will receive a reply via email. 